Hi guys and welcome to a new Bo Reads World video. I hope everybody's having a good day because I sure am. Just finished half a day of work and when I came home, this was on my doorstep. The new mud box. So, let's unwrap it, shall we? For those of you who don't know, Modbox is a subscription service that was started by another booktuber on here, Mercedes of Mercy's Book is Musings, which I'm sure all of you uh, know. This is the second time that she has done a Modbox. The first time was in November, but unfortunately I couldn't get my hands on one, so I'm really excited to start unwrapping this one. First of all, aesthetic is A+. plus. You've got two books which are wrapped like this in some sort of tissue paper, I think lovely color also and each book has its own bookmark which says um mod box on it and a little quote from the book i think yeah let's do it that way so yeah let's start with the first one. Oh no let's start by reading the card the books in this box deal with family trauma and isolation in unique environments. They are both gritty, unrelenting reads that offer you an insight into the ways in which culture and belief can shape a life. For all their gravity, these books are not without hope and compassion. Sounds interesting. Definitely love some family trauma in my books. It's funny because... I've been watching a couple of book hauls and each time that somebody says and now on to the January Modbox books I just had to stop it immediately like uh, Simon over at Savage Reads and un unwrap them I also think that Lauren from Lauren and the books was unwrapping them on her uh, Instagram story so I <laughs> had to avoid those two uh, another couple of videos which were unwrapping videos so I guess I'm just tormenting other people now by doing this video but hey you can't expect me to wait to unwrap these, can you? This is taking longer than I thought. Excellent wrapping job, Mercedes. Okay, the first one, which says... Naked and plain, the trees stretch branches like antlers against the sky. And we have... Sufficient Grace by Amy Espedet. That is a lovely cover, a very lovely cover. Long after reading this book, you will not forget it. Let's hope so. <laughs> what is it about? Root and her cousin Naomi live in rural Wisconsin. Never read a book in Wisconsin said before. Part of an isolated religious community. The girls' lives are ruled by the rhythms of nature, the harsh winters, the hunting seasons, the harvesting of crops, and by their family's beliefs. Beneath the surface of this close frozen world, hidden dangers lurk. Then Ruth learns that Naomi harbors a terrible secret. She searches for solace in the mysteries of the natural world. Broken fawns, migrating birds, and strange fish deep beneath the ice. Can the girls' prayers for deliverance be answered? It's funny, well, this of course sounds very interesting and it's a bit funny, well, not in a ha-ha kind of way, but I just finished reading the outrun and it really reminds me of this and the way that nature plays a big part in this, but also that people give a certain meaning to uh, things in nature that they can't explain and have their own beliefs, their own religion that they cling on to and yeah. Uh, definitely looking forward to reading this one. I haven't heard of this author nor the book, which is the whole point of this box. <laughs> so, yeah. And then the second book is hidden somewhere along here. Also, neatly wrapped again. And this one says, They see a ball of flames moving towards them, an orange silk lantern floating on air. I managed not to read the title this time around. You can tie a good knot, Mercedes. Something for the dog to play with. Not really, though. He's a 15-year-old Labrador. They don't play with anything. Just death. The Hands Were Times by Sharon Duggle. Have not heard of that one either. Makush Agarwal sits alone in the Black Eagle pub, unaware that the riot is brewing or that Billy, his youngest son, is still out on his bike. A mile away, at home in Church Street, 
Anila, one of the three Agarwal girls, is reading smash hits and listening to Radio 1 as she sprawls across the bottom bunk, oblivious to the monumental tragedy is about to hit her family. From the smash hits reference, I can already tell that it's set in the 80s. No? It wasn't that like a popular magazine back then? It is 1981, okay, <laughs> and hands were just teetering on the brink of collapse. Factories are closing, unemployment is high, the national front are marching and the neglected inner cities are ablaze as riots break out across Thatcher's fractured Britain. The Agarwals are facing their own nightmares, but family, pop music, protests, unexpected friendships and a community that refuses to disappear all contribute to easing their personal pain and that of Hansword itself. The Hansword Times is a story of loss, transition and pulling together because ultimately there is such a thing as society. Hmm, interesting. This is, of course, published by Blue Moose. Never heard of that one before. Is that an... Yeah, Blue Moose. And the other one was published by Scribe. I have heard of that one before. I have never actually read anything set in 1980s Britain, except for uh, The Line of Beauty by Alan Hollinghurst, but that took place among the uh, higher classes in London and was more a look at uh, AIDS during that time and not that much at the social level and, you know, the impact of Thatcher. And Thatcher is something that I learned about in class but, you know, wasn't really involved with seeing I was born in 1988. This is definitely something that I normally wouldn't pick up but, like I said, is the purpose of this book to read things that you normally wouldn't and I definitely trust Mercedes taste in books uh, so yeah definitely looking forward to reading both this one and this one I'm excited to have bought this and I'm uh, yeah I'm very looking forward to reading both of them so thank you Mercedes for picking these two out and I'll hope to be reading them very soon thanks to all of you for watching I'll link all the mod books links that I can find below if you would like to have a go at them yourselves I think she does it every two months or so so um, yeah you'll have to wait a bit uh, and now I'll shall be cleaning this stuff up. Bye!